Today we're going to begin another week in our wonderful day in the Lord broadcast, still in the book of Proverbs, looking at uh, some of the things Proverbs teaches us. And and uh, as we've been doing, we've been looking at a topic. Proverbs is, is not topical in the sense of, of jumping on a subject and having a lot of passages or, or verses about it. it. It scatters them throughout. So we've been looking at topics as we kind of lumped them together from different sections of the book. And today and this rest of this week, we're just going to look at people. There's, there's nothing more important in our lives than people, except for the Lord himself. And so uh, people, are the, are, people can drive us nuts, and they can give us the greatest joy of all. And so people is, are a vital part of most of our lives. And that's how God planned it. Uh, George Bernard Shaw suggested uh, many years ago that if, in fact, there are alien people in outer space, uh, they're using the, the planet Earth as their insane asylum. So he didn't have a lot of, lot of good to say about people, <laughs> and, uh, including probably himself. But, uh, so there's a lot of, lot of different kinds of people on the planet. So the, the Proverbs do not um, just have a wide brush here and a broad brush and say, well, everybody's this way or everybody's that way. As a matter of fact, there, there's a number of different types of people that uh, Solomon in the Proverbs is talking about. And we're going to look at some of those today and the kind of people that we should be with and the kind of people that we should stay away from. We're going to start out today by looking at some of the people that we should uh, gravitate toward. And these are people that are considered wise. Uh, the wise people, he says, uh, fear the Lord, chapter 9, verse 10. We've read that verse a number of times in our study together. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And so wise people fear the Lord, which means they give Him the highest of honor, the highest of respect. They understand His, his glory. They understand His judgment. And if we, if we would travel throughout the, the Old Testament even, looking at what people do who fear the Lord, we'd find that they have great courage because they understand the Lord. They, they live properly as God wants them to live. They, they live in purity. Uh, they live in wisdom and they hate evil. Those are just some of the characteristics of a person who is considered wise. Uh, a second kind of person is, uh, or second characteristic, let's say, of the wise person is they listen to instruction. Backing up to chapter 1 and verse 5, he says, Let the wise man hear and increase in learning, and a man of understanding will acquire guidance. And so a wise person will will recognize they don't know everything, and they will seek out those who, who know more than them, those that are wiser than them, those that can give them proper instruction. And that's a sign of, of a, a person who loves the Lord, a person who is walking in wisdom. They are a person who understands the need for more wisdom, and they go to the right sources. In chapter 13, verse 20, we find that they also associate with other wise people, he who walks with the wise will be wise, but the friend of fools will suffer harm. And so as often is the case, he has the positive and the negative. Uh, if you want to be wise, hang around with wise people. Uh, don't, don't hang around with foolish people because you're going to suffer the consequences of their foolishness. You're going to get caught up in the things they do and you'll pay the price. And so a wise person is wanting to hang out with, be with, enjoy the company of, learn from, other wise people. And they will also, fourth, they will flee from sin, a wise person will. Verse 14, the instruction of the wise is a fountain of life to turn aside from the snares of death. So the instruction of the wise give us this fountain of life. It, it keeps us in, in, a, in a situation in which we understand and live out the life that God has for us. And if we don't have that, we will turn aside to the snares of destruction those traps that lead us to destruction, or he calls it death here. And then one more verse that we would look at, 1623. He talks about our tongue. This is a subject that, as we've already seen, comes up a number of times in the book of Proverbs. He says, The heart of the wise gives insight to his mouth and increases learning to his lips. And so the, the wise person is learning to control their tongue. They're learning to discipline their speech. They don't just say what comes on the top of their head and just blurt it out with whatever the consequences might be. Uh, they have learned to use discernment 
in their, with their tongue and with their speech. So some of the people that we live with are wise people. And these are characteristics of the wise people that we should be around. They will help us live wiser lives as well. Uh, we're going to go the opposite direction tomorrow and look at the wicked. So I hope you can join us as we look at the opposite of the wise person.